Recording? Yep, we're good to go. Okay. Hey! <laughs> oh, <you're mean. laughs> Take your bets, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Of course it's a race, because... Because it's Because it's us. Everything's a race. Everything's a race. I love you. Be safe. Well, I told her I was gonna try to go all the way tonight. I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna push on. It might be a bit of a stretch, but I'm gonna try. I just made a real rookie mistake. So, just made a mistake. It's oh, not good. All right, I gotta get out of there. Here. That last poor touch. Oh, it just about killed me, I wanted, really wanted to do them all. Ah, oh, that hurt. Korea's got safety stuff and she's on her own. She's got a spot device and bear spray. Don't worry. She gave me a rape whistle and this map. So I'm good. I'm just teasing by the way. I wouldn't have had it, have it any other way. Oh. It's a dark tunnel. I still have a chance to beat him. I hope he's safe. I miss him. You're doing well. The sight's right up here. A little eerie being out here by yourself for the first time. I just heard a really strange noise. We made it. My love! So we are right here, right now. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go across under this one mile bridge. And our first portage, 635. Then our second one, 410. And then from the midpoint, roughly, we're gonna diverge here. One's going to take 1,300 meters. This one has a little bit more portaging yeah. than this one, but this is how we're going to split right here, like this. Yep. Um, then the second night, we are going to meet up somewhere on one of these sites here, correct? Yep. We're going to take the same path from here on at probably slightly different times and see who gets to this place first. Winner gets to pick the site <laughs> and bragging rights. <laughs> All right, so now you guys know the the scoop on what we're doing. Take your bets. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Of course, it's a race because because it's a because race. it's us. Everything's a race. Everything's a race. We are off. Okay, we're coming up on our first portage, and it's a six thirty five into Little Mink Lake. die on this trip. Why do you let me take that? Uh, 
Are you not struggling at all? Uh, my shoulder hurt, but no, the weight is fine. If it wasn't for the friggin' yoke, which I'm thinking is my life jacket struggling on. I'm struggling with, like, the canoe actually just sitting on my shoulder. It just hurts really bad. If it right? just hurt, it would be fine, but it's hurting and slipping up. Okay. Because, oh, uh, this is another 13, love. If you want, I can take that route. Well. Yeah, I don't mind. So this is where we split. Got enough of each other, that's it. This is it. <laughs> no. Um, so, Brandon's kind enough to take the crazy long portage. He's got a 1300 from here. And uh, he's got the heavier pack and the heavier canoe. But I'm gonna miss my love. It'll be fine. We're it's gonna so be fun. Sweat. Come on, sweaty. Oh, that's, that's so, so gross. Nice. <laughs> oh, love. It feels so bad when you touch it. <laughs> I got music. I gotta get in the zone. I got a long way to go tonight. Aw. <laughs> okay. What time is it, by the way? Do you know? Did you look? No, I don't. It is 3.24. 3.24. Okay. <laughs> I love Beautiful. you. Be safe. You too. Give me a better goodbye than that. <laughs> okay. Don't listen to my plans. <laughs> Gonna need this. Ah. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? What's wrong? I lost an earbud. Oh, <laughs> babe. Oh my god. As soon as he starts sweating, that's good. They're gonna like. Get worse. There we go. Okay. Be careful. I will. Love you. Take breaks. I will. I'm all good, love. I'll see ya. I love you. Be good. Come back. Come back. Oh. All right. Well, he's gone, and I'm alone. I don't think she can hear us now. So, plan is, well, I told her I was going to try to go all the way tonight to Rabla or something. All right. Second day camp. I don't know if there's enough daylight for that, but I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. It's a little close, eh? Here we go. So I am going off to Mink Lake. And uh, so here's the thing. Brandon and I are very competitive and and there's no way we're not turning this into a race of who gets to the second night's campsite first. I know Brandon has a strategy on how he's gonna beat me there but I also have a strategy. He is not an early riser. And I'm not typically either, but I I plan on getting up very early tomorrow morning and beating him there. So we'll see. We'll see what he is, does tonight. I have no doubts he might just travel all through the night to get there before me. But we shall see. blister on my thumb. 
You know, the board dodges are hard on the shoulders, I find. Um, the, the yoke really digs in. But once it's done, like, the pain goes away immediately, so... I try to remind myself of that when the portage is hurting real bad. Oh, that was a personal trial. Let's see how long it takes to do 1300 meters for me. If I can do this without stopping. I need to pick up the pace a bit. Good thing about being busy, at least if I snap my ankle, someone will find me. So, Karina's got safety stuff since she's on her own. But we met up with a nice couple that she knows. So, she'll be taken care of be able to travel with someone a little bit. She's also got a spot device and bear spray. But don't worry. She gave me a rape whistle and this map. So I'm good. <laughs> I'm just teasing by the way. I wouldn't have had it I've had any other way. Whew. Poor Brandon. He's got a heavier canoe, a heavier pack. Um, we have the same canoes but mine is Carbon Fusion Ananegra, and his is uh, his is Expedition Kevlar, which is, don't get me wrong, it's still really light, but not as light as mine. And um, he's also got the tent, which is a lot heavier than like the hammock and tarp, um, but a little less work to set up. And he's got uh, he's got just like a heavier bag. Um, he took some of the heavier food items, so it's not like it's not like we're going at the same weight, but probably for how strong he is, he's about on par with what the weight that I'm carrying. So we figure it kind of works out about the same. Um, he like slings trees all day, so <laughs> he's a pretty strong guy, and he's stubborn as all hell, so <laughs> he will push through no matter what. This is gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. I see water. <laughs> Piece of cake. Woo. Don't say that. Cry before a crash. Figure where the hell I'm going. All right, so I'm on White Birch. Keep going straight. 3:45 coming up. Can't miss it. Cool. I figure that took me about just under 15 minutes to do that 1,300 meters based on the length of the video. Hard to tell though, there was a few minutes there before I actually got going, and then I was actually in the boat a little bit before I checked it. So, let's say maybe uh, 14 to 15 minutes to do 1300 meters, so just over 100 meters a minute if I can really book it. So, that'll help me calculate how long it's going to take me to get to my destination. Okay, we are at 
Water clear. It is 4.02, left about 3.30. So across this lake and 1300 meter portage in about a half hour. Feeling pretty good. Just passed by uh, Keenan and Ashley's site. They're just setting up for the night. And uh, I think I'm gonna push on. I'm a little tired, my back hurts, and my shoulders hurt, and my wrists hurt, and my hands hurt. But I gotta beat Brandon, I gotta beat him there. Um, Keenan told me he looked at all the bookings on the sites and he said there's a, a lake that wasn't booked. They, they like booked this last minute, so I'm just gonna push on to hopefully to Mouse Lake. That might be a bit of a stretch, but I'm gonna try. I might hate myself on the portage, but <laughs> I don't care, I'm gonna try. So that's two portages away. Um, I think I got enough daylight. We're gonna do this. And then at the very least, um, I'll stop at least on Brandon's route. So if he decides to push on, um, I'm gonna definitely see him. So we'll see how it goes. We shall see. Almost at the end of the Mink Lake now. Um, I'll put up on the screen here how uh, how long it is, but it's quite the paddle. Very, very long lake and narrow. The funny thing about this is that um, before Brandon and I split off, we were talking to Keenan and Ashley, and they said they were staying on Mink Lake, and I was like, oh, cool, I'm staying there too. Maybe I should pop over to your campfire or something. And, uh, since I've decided to move on, Brandon's totally going to think that I just stayed. And I'm like, having a good time. But no. I am pushing up. I will show you the portage signs to prove it. Never had a leech on me before. Should probably check the rest of me. Hmm. That was cool. I'm not really sure where I got that actually. Off a rock. Just can't help but breathe heavily. Also, the air just feels so, so thick. This is so humid. Remember when I said I would hate myself on the portage? Well, I don't yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Water clear to Club 345. Okay, so just made a mistake. I don't know if you can see this. I went right up to my stomach in this mud. I fell, took a step here. I thought it was hard ground. It looks like hard ground. Except, see that? I went right friggin' in it, up to my waist and higher. <laughs> so, might need a swim. My map's a little bit wet and muddy. Might need some help on that. Oh, that's not good. All right, I gotta get out of there. Here. <clears throat> oh. 
Oops. This is kind of dumb. that on camera oh i just went like one step phew, right up to here i am disgusting but at least i smell good too oh, it smells like sewage oh maybe not quite that bad muddy sewage i think my map will dry out and it'll be okay i gotta get some better water and clean up here Oh, that's disappointing. And uh, there was a trail. Went around and I'm like, oh, but the lake's right here. Why would I want to go around? Looks fine, a little soft, but you know, I don't want to get my feet wet. <sighs> wow. I was actually worried I was going to get stuck there with my pack on and everything. Wish I had that on film. Good grief. I had to turn the canoe over as I'm falling so it doesn't fill up too and then I can't get it out so I was able to turn it over enough kind of sideways a little bit to use that to lift myself up otherwise I don't think I was getting out of that thing it took everything I had to wiggle out of there it took a few minutes to oh that was nasty I gotta figure out where I'm going just made it to the former site of Richie what does it say here former site of Richie Brothers Lumber Mill. I hope you can see that over there. I'm not going to get my phone out because it's full of mud right now, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, click there's someone over on that site. Just had to show you guys this. <coughs> the weeds are so thick. Can't even see the rocks. It's pretty, kind of, but I'm really glad Brandon didn't go this way. I should have fell in that mud. I think I got lucky that I had the canoe with me. And my pack on. If I didn't have my pack on, I think I, or the canoe, I think I would have just kept going. And even though I didn't go any further, I'm not sure I would have gotten out without the canoe to lift myself up on. I could barely lift my legs. Finally came out. Finally came out of the uh, the weeds over there. Looks like it's just starting to open up now. Finally, that was a slog getting through all that. The water must be low because it's slow paddling. Okay, it should be straight ahead. So, as you can see, my hair got a little bit gross, and I'm not exactly the best of shape. I'm going to try and clean up here, and uh, this is the first point, this is the first point that uh, Karina will meet up, well, the first portage we'll both do. We would have both done quite a bit of this. I think there's a campsite at Mouse Lake if I... Uh, don't feel like I can keep going today, so I'm gonna get cleaned up.
Better be careful coming through here, Karina. There's a lot of ankle breakers around here. I gotta write a note to Karina. This will write. I'm gonna leave this on the tree here for to find. What should I say? I walk a lot of time. 5.38. It's like 5.40. Hopefully she sees that. No one else does. Make it kind of subtle. I gotta wash my shoes. I'm full of mud. Come with me for this. I'm losing a lot of time on this, but what are you gonna do? It's 20 after 5, oh, and I made it to Club Lake. Oh, I'm on Club Lake now, and my shoulders are killing me from the portage, and there's a brutal headwind. I think this one's going to be a little slow going. I just made a real rookie mistake. Oh. I went all the way up Club Lake against the wind to um, to the portage Brandon's gonna come out of, which is, all I had to do was make a little left turn right after I got on the lake. Anyways, that was stupid. I had one thing in my mind and that was just seeing if Brandon's left the ribbon at the next portage and that's when you start to make stupid mistakes. Ah, oh, that was stupid. Held against the wind for absolutely nothing. Oh, at least we have the wind at our backs. That's so annoying. I can't believe I just did that. Oh, that's the stupidest mistake ever. Oh, this stuff has been awful to paddle through. Looks like I'm finally nearing the end of it though, but oh my gosh. It just like wants to stop you. <sighs> almost, almost through this. Oh, that sucks. Oh my gosh, this really bad garbage does not end. Oh my gosh. Okay, made it to the portage. Nice entrance. Always get there. All right, this is this is the telltale. 
Oh my gosh, you baby. What a brat. So we both brought Sharpies to write what time we passed. Let's see what it says. Love you. 5.40 p.m. Wednesday. Ugh. Of course, of course he kept going. 5.40, what time is it now? Oh my gosh, I'm an hour later than him. If I hadn't taken that wrong turn. Ugh, I'm so Hey, all right, I'm at uh, Moose Lake to Mink Creek. Got a 1705 ahead of me. Um, gonna be racing the clock here to get in before it gets dark, but uh, I've got a one campsite if it's not taken at the end of this. So uh, just a 190 and then a, another one like 1500, I think, and I'll be right where I'm supposed to be. So I'm gonna grab a quick bite to eat. I just had to change my GoPro battery. Keep going, need some fuel, I think. Keeps pushing my canoe up in the back. I am just straight uphill. I got uh, this portage and then one more to make it to my final destination. <sighs> this is like the mud I fell in. <sighs> Am I getting water out of that? I can tell you that much. If I can do this without sinking, that'd be ideal. Holy frick. Oh. Uh, gotta admit, I'm getting a little tired. Oh. That last poor touch oh, just about killed me. I wanted, really wanted to do them all without having to stop. And rest so far so good but I had to fight that last one the urge to get myself a break was getting very strong <sighs> I need a better yoke uh, something that fits me a little bit better the weight's not bad it's the pain I keep slipping off my neck Whew. that looks like most of that pill There's a site after this portage, so it looks really nice, inviting, and empty. I might just take it. We'll see. I know this is supposed to be a bit of a race, but it's not terribly fair. It's more a race against myself than anything else, and 
give me and Karina a chance to get the experience of doing this solo without having to be by yourself for days and days. So just one night apart and then we get to enjoy the rest together. And by enjoy, I mean suffer. <laughs> At least right now, that's what it feels. I see water. We are close. This poor tire wasn't too bad at all. So there's a 1500 left, or 1460, or something like that. If I do that one tonight, that'd be the last one. And I'm giving up. That'd be my day two destination. I'm running out of light. It's probably about 7:20 right now. I think I got about another 40 minutes before the sun goes down. Maybe another hour before it's really dark. Yeah, that might work. Uh, all right, I gotta look at the map too here. There's a site right around this corner. I don't wanna look at it. I don't want something real weedy and boggy just because the bugs get bad, and also I kinda want to get this for a Mud off me. Uh, Sorry, love. Doing my best here. I'm making you proud. Hope you're doing well. Felt pretty good about you having people you knew kind of going the same way. So, alright, so I am. Yeah, so right around this corner to the right, right around that point. And that looks like a 1405 if I decide to keep going. Not bad. I did a 17, 1700. Not stopping, so maybe. Maybe I can pull it off. Maybe I can do that. I figured that would take me about 20 minutes if I push decently hard. Alright, so the site's right up here. So far I've left caution tape with a message and the time I arrived there on every portage. I think it's been three of them so far. It does slow you down a bit, but at least it'll give her something to look forward to. She knows I got there safe and I know people are coming behind her so she'll be alright. She's got a spot to place and stuff. I don't see any of this light. Looks nice too. I can see her coming really well too. Cool sight. A little bit of wood left. Good spot for a tent. I think I could probably stay here. I'm coming up to Portage from Mouse to like Big Thunders, whatever that says. And I'm pretty sure I see a ribbon from here. Which makes sense because I've paddled all across this lake and he hasn't signaled me or anything. Oh, that's definitely a ribbon. Wow, what a jerk. 
I cannot believe this guy. I hope he found a campsite. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't believe it. See you soon, my love, at 6.20 p.m. Right now, it is 7.20. I gotta give it to him. I gotta give it to him. He's got the heavier pack, the heavier canoe, and this is a 1,700-meter portage. I can't believe this guy. Morale is real low. <sighs> it's getting real late. I gotta find a campsite. I'm not even hungry. I don't I'm just gonna have like a bar and go to bed and wake up early and hope that he's on the next lake and that I wake up early enough to catch him. How did you, Brandon? I'm so mad. What a rat. Well, let's go find a campsite and uh, swallow our pride and eat some humble pie. It's not over yet. There's no. I'm stuck. There's no friggin' way he made it all the way. There's no way. And there's no way in hell I have. There's no way in hell I have enough juice to get to get through that portage right now. But oh my god, I'm so mad. I am so mad at you. Brennan, I'm really mad at you. You all right, I'm gonna find a campsite, set up my stuff, maybe eat some dinner, maybe just go to sleep because I'm exhausted. And I'm gonna need a good night's sleep and a lot of wine so that I have a good night's sleep and um. Try and get a good start tomorrow, I guess. I'm exhausted. That's a sunset, though. Which means I better get moving. Okay, I know I don't really have time to get picky, but that is the freakiest looking campsite I've ever seen. It's so dark in there. Oh, I don't have time to be picky though, and there's lots of trees for my hammock. Oh, there's a nice stream over here though. Oh, it looks so weird and freaky. You know what? Let's just go check it out. Oh, it's so creepy looking though. Oh my gosh, it looks like just a dark tunnel. Do you see a tent pad around here? Because I sure don't. Whoa, that canoe looks nice over there. There's a tent pad. It is freaking dark in here. Oh, 
that's a little mink. Or a Martin. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, that was so cute. Look at this beach though. You know what? I don't have time to be picky. This is good enough for me. And I think the sun's gonna come up somewhere over there, so that'll be cool. Another fish. I should have brought a fishing rod. Okay, I know I'm like talking like nonstop. You kinda go a little crazy when you're alone. Oh wow. That is freezing cold water. That's awesome. I'm so filling my water up here. I'm not kidding. This is friggin' ice cold. Oh my gosh. If I had a beer, I'd put it in here and it would be cold in an hour. That is friggin' cool. Okay guys, I have a bit of a dilemma. I'm not hungry. I think I'm a little bit hungry, but not nearly enough to motivate me to make something. Which is probably bad because I really exerted myself today. I still haven't calculated how long I went. Probably do that in the morning over coffee. I am so dead tired. I managed to get the wine out though. <sighs> to help with my aching muscles. <laughs> Help me relax a little bit. A little nightcap. Tomorrow's gonna be another brutal day. The very first portage is 1700. And it looks like it's pretty uphill. And I gotta get an early start because, as you all know, my very competitive, very driven man has already already gone past and I can't, I can't see him going all the way to the to the site we were supposed to have um, tomorrow night that's a long long day for like or a long trek for an afternoon anyways hopefully hopefully that's not the case he hasn't gone all the way to Arab Arab Lake because if he hasn't and I get up super early I still have a chance to beat him which would be ideal. I hope he's safe. I miss him. Hope he, I hope he did that portage okay and got to camp in a in good time. He's probably in the same predicament as me too. He's probably like not hungry. We both um, when we're going like this, we just we just don't eat a lot. Oh. And uh, the past probably month or so, we've just been on the go like crazy, so I think both our stomachs have like shrunk a little bit because neither of us are really hungry that much all the time. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go here. Like I said, hope you enjoyed the trip up to this point. And uh, I'll see you in the morning over some coffee. just heard a really strange noise and I have no idea what it is but I'm gonna pretend it's all good <laughs> um yeah I got my uh I don't know if you can see that but I got my knife hanging right here 
And I've got my berry spray hanging just back there. And I think I'm gonna have a comfortable night's sleep. So I just wanted to check in again and tell you that and say good night. So good night. So I got um, my uh, my GoPro SD card was full for some reason. I don't know what I did wrong. I'll figure that out tomorrow. Um, didn't have enough time to do a fire or anything like that. It's got the tent up and uh, just before it got too dark to do anything else. I got this up and then um, was able to have a bite to eat, um, have a bit of a, a rinse off in the lake and uh, rinse off my clothes and hang them up because they're full of mud. And um, what else? Yeah, that's about it. So I got the tent up. It's hot as hell. I got the vents opened up and I had to take my shirt off because I was just dying in here. Um, so it's going to be a warm, warm sleep tonight. It's supposed to only go down to 18. A um, little, little eerie being out here by yourself for the first time. Um, let's see if I get the lighting better. I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, that's better. Karina is tarping it tonight. She should be somewhere behind me. She'll be at least uh, probably three hours tomorrow morning to, to get to here. Uh, it's not not too bad. There's a couple other sites I'll check out tomorrow, but uh, I didn't want to go any further than this. Uh, I was losing the light really fast, so all in all, pretty good day. Um, yeah, I'm going to chill out, and um, I'll show you the camp uh, tomorrow. Gonna make me dump the whole thing out. Oh, there it is. Okay, slam some oatmeal in my face. Starting the portage at eight o'clock sharp. Good spot for a second break. That took me 40 minutes and like four stops. Nothing like that to get your heart pumping first thing in the morning.
Made it to the portage, 135 meter. Here we go. Not believe this guy. I thought for sure he'd be on this site at Big Thunder Lake, but he's not. <laughs> so Big Thunder to Arab, which is the lake we're staying on tonight. Last one, my love, 7:30 p.m. Almost stayed here, I'm sure. Oh, you're so frustrating, Brandon. <laughs> Almost stayed here. Oh, I wish he did. That would be perfect, so. This is pretty much it. This means he's already there. I can't believe this guy. He is something else. Cool sight. I could probably stay here. So I decided to keep trucking, get to my final destination. And last night wasn't too bad, but uh, I'm one portage away and I feel like, you know what? I feel like I'd like to finish this. So I made it to my destination. Well, morning. I slept in a little bit. Um, I think my body needed it, and didn't sleep the best last night. It was just really hot in this tent. I opened up the doors to make get as much air in here, but I'll show you the site, and uh, you'll see why I didn't get a lot of air. Anyway, morning. Crane will be coming around that corner sometime today. Well, Crane is not here yet. I made myself a nice Mr. Noodles for breakfast. Kind of just felt like it. I don't know if you can see that. And some French vanilla with Bailey's. It's fantastic. Really, really impressed how good this is. All you have to do is put two packages in for the same amount of water, and it's really good. I'm gonna chill out here, have my coffee and breakfast, and uh, watch for a canoe to around that corner. Almost stayed here. <sighs> so frustrating! He beat me, and I like gave it. I gave it a good shot. That stupid mistake yesterday throw, uh, slowed me down big time. Oh. All right, I'm gonna hydrate a little bit and then uh, get moving on this. 14.45 meter portage. And it's probably gonna be uphill because they all are. We made it. Oh, we made it. Oh, it hurts. Now to find Brando. Oh. Like now it's time to find my love. That was harder than I thought it would be that portage. Oh my gosh. I see him. He's down in the water. I see his green canoe, and I see his yellow paddle. No, not yellow. Orange, orange paddle. So guess who I see. It's just after 10 o'clock. Yeah. That's my girl. So guess who shows up just after 10? I figure she had at least a four hour 
portage and canoe trip just to get here from where she was, depending where she stayed. We'll find that out soon. She's looking like she's doing good. There's a, some hell of some portages though she had to go through this morning, so I was thinking about her. Oh, she looks tired. She just had to take a break or she's getting her camera on. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I wasn't expecting to see her till noon. I'm proud of her. This is great. You. you did good. And I'm so mad at you. <laughs> oh. You did so good. I didn't think you'd, I'd see you till noon. What? I didn't think I'd see you till noon. I figured yeah. you had at least four hours. So I kept going. Oh, you did? What? And I saw your. I went to your 1700. Oh, no way. And I made a mistake, which cost me about an hour. And uh, and I was about an hour behind you. If I had oh really? If I had not made a mistake, I'd probably have been right on your heels. No way. <sighs> no way. It on. I got to. Uh, oh, I'm excited to hear about. Oh, I got to what lake is it? Where'd you stay? Mouse Lake. Oh, I almost stayed at so Mouse. So I. There's only one site. There, right? No, no. That's uh, that's Big Thunder. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. It smells so bad. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll tell you about my experience too. Oh, I had some fun. I was like, How you feeling? Shoulders sensitive? Oh my god, yeah. I'm so bruised. Yeah. And I have like crazy blisters on my feet. Yeah. Oh yeah. My uh, my GoPro storage ran out. What? Yeah. I don't know. How? I don't know. But that's what it said. So I'll be. I'll let, I'll let you look at it. How actually. long ago? Uh, I was almost done. Just before I got here, it died. But it was recording sometimes when I didn't think it was, so I don't know. I don't know what I did. I'll let you have a look at it. But anyway. <laughs> I smell so bad, I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a good dip. This is a nice thing. Eh? Yeah, that's why I'm like, you know what? There's rocks, you can swim nicely here. I was really looking for a good spot to swim. I'll tell you about why. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. All right, let's get your... Uh... Let's get you. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> We got about, uh, five or ten minutes we can waste around here before we gotta keep moving. What? I'm just. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't tell me. Don't that. do that to me. We're staying here all day, all night. <laughs> oh, those blisters, they burned. I thought you'd stay with the. Uh, air... uh, what's her name? No. I, so I, I didn't want to do that because that would ruin like the whole I was, solo thing. So I was like, I was kind of happy about it. And, and I knew, I knew you'd go on because you thought I would just stay there. That's why I was like, guys, I'm, I'm, cause I went by them as they were finding a site and I was like, guys, I'm going to push on. I know he's pushing on, so I'm going to push on too. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh my gosh, my blisters burn so bad. Well, why don't we take a rest day then? Oh, my love. It's a great little spot for the tent. I oh, that's get, so cute. You get no wind. Yeah. And I was dying. I wore this. And that, only this. <laughs> I basically laid on my sleeping bag, and the pillow works really good with the clothes because I can kind of move it around. I was not comfortable okay? in the hammock. No. I oh, was really? wanting to stretch out flat so bad, oh, yeah. and I couldn't. <sighs> if you would have been in there with me last night, we would have died of heat. It was so well. You would have been comfortable, and I would have died. <laughs> Want me to make you a drink, lover? Oh my god, yes. Oh my gosh, all I had last night was wine. <laughs> I and didn't open my wine because I'm like I don't want to crack it because I don't I don't think I'll finish it. And I had a Snickers bar uh, right after yeah. I left Mink Lake, and that was it for the what? night. I can't wait to tell you all about it. Yeah, I can't wait to tell. Okay, you we'll sit. Wait. We'll set up the camera and then okay. uh, tell our stories. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I loved your message and said almost stayed here on the Big Thunder. I was like I, <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so mad. Okay, it's a 350. Yeah, it's a when I, muddy when, at I the end. when I get into this lake, club? Club. When I get into Club Lake, I'm coming into the, like the lake and it's all muddy and it's like there's logs lined up. So I'm like walking across logs and it's like this much of water. I have my canoe on, I got my backpack on. I take one step, I go right up to here in mud. Completely stuck in mud. And I, the only thing I was able to do
So we've been just chilling today, recouping our sore muscles. Yeah. Well deserved little break today. For sure. Nice shirt. I like it. It's been really good. Makes your muscles pop. That's that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Really? What? I'm just putting my finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Thanks, Luke. Actually, you could do a little more. Now that I see how much is there and you're sipping it. Just a bit. Just a little bit. You can do it if you try. Just a little bit. Having shepherd's pie, dehydrated sh shepherd's what? pie. <sighs> just enough to cover it at first. And we're just gonna cold soak it for probably half an hour. Like a boss. <laughs> probably use a little bit more of a boil there. You can do that. Get us started on it. It's bad. It's funny. <laughs> Brandon likes my shepherd's pie. I like it though. It's very good. It's actually exceptional, I would say. Wow. Yeah. And, oh, I was A kicker. Wine. Grape juice. I mean grape juice. <laughs> I'm having fruit. Fruit, fruit salad. Grapes. It's wine. It's wine. <laughs> Gonna hang our food bag here. Yeah. Found a rock big enough to get get that over there. First time it went over the second branch, and then I'm like. <laughs> Oh, no problem. I'll just untie it. To untie the rock because there's no way it's going to get out of there, right? And I'm like gently pulling and then it's like swings down finally. To, I tried to keep it as long as I could thinking I could reach it. <laughs> it's like this long. Like, Let's try this again. <laughs> Interesting. They don't make rocks like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> <I love. laughs> having fun? Yeah. Me too. Yeah, this is a great little rock to swim off. Yeah, wish we knew about this. I know, this would have been so fun. <laughs> could definitely take down a piece of beer and <laughs> chill out here. You'd you get and the your sun. Beer. <laughs> You'd get the sun all day here too. It'd be sweet sitting on the rock. My love's going to start the fire. We are going to try. I'm just going to grab the fire steel here for just one second. It's a, it's a new, it's a different style than you're used to. Don't bother filming it. It's very boring. <laughs> it uh, very closely resembles a lighter. No, no, that's a common misconception. Yeah, uh, many, many uneducated uh, people would say that. But mm -hmm. Nothing is here. I suppose there's a little flint in there. Uh, yep. <laughs> Nicely done, look. I'd say we have a successful fire started. Yeah. Only took about three hours. <laughs> no. Good thing I brought that fire steel. Yeah. That one would be like one of those schmucks that use a lighter. <laughs> How embarrassing, right? <laughs> oh boy, I think I was a little too successful. Yeah, that's hot. Oh. <laughs> Or did you want some? Oh, just a bit. <laughs> this is really hard to do with the camera. <laughs> Don't spill. I'm just eating. Thanks, love.
Well guys, we are in bed, ready to sleep, and uh, that's the end of day two. Brandon had a great rest day, and I had a pretty good run this morning, just two hours of solid, hardcore <laughs> portaging, and uh, yeah, I'm really sore. Anyways, hope you guys are enjoying the video up to this point. We will see you in the morning. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Love, say goodnight. Good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Good morning. It's chilly out. My honey's getting the food down. He's already started a fire. He's taking care of me this morning. So first we make coffee, and then we make pancakes. Uh, I have the same amount of Bailey's left. You brought a little baby? That's cute. <laughs> I don't need as much as you. <laughs> That's why you're sipping on mine yesterday. I was hopping in to <laughs> light me up. I'm a little whoop. <laughs> so these are protein pancakes. Tastes like cake. Mm. I did. Why? Why? Yeah. Bacon. Oh, right, bacon. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, bagpacking 101. Sleeping bag at the bottom closest to my back. Thermarest is pretty light, so it goes on the bottom to the outside. And then I pack things like lighter clothes to take up some space at the bottom. You want a lot of the lighter stuff in the middle. Give you your hammock so you can split up. And I use various clothes to like fill in the gaps. So I always put it on the side, standing upward. Sit pad always goes at the back against my back. And then more clothes all around. Just random stuff. First aid kit I keep on the top. Don't think I'm gonna need this sweater today. Once we get going. After that I put my food bag closest to the top, like right on top and closest to my back. That's where you want the heaviest stuff. Uh, right at the top, close to your to your back so that it keeps your pack weight towards you rather than making you feel like you'll fall backwards. It's probably the most important thing about packing your bag. You want the heaviest stuff at the top closest to your back. You want the like more medium stuff, kind of like a, a little bit in the middle but still closer to your body and you want all of the light stuff on the outside um, so you don't feel like your pack's gonna pull you backwards. Tarp, that'll go close to my back. Whereas things like my, all my clothes, I try to push more towards the outside. And one last note, I always bring um, like one of these extra large Ziploc bags to put all the garbage in. That way, as it fills up, you can close it, take all the air out of it. And then it takes up like no space in your pack and everything's consolidated and you know you're packing out all your garbage. My love's got everything all set up. Where to, Navigator Man? Between that island right there. Okay. And then uh, pretty much straight to the straight to the end. Alright. Sounds good.
First portage, 170 meters. And it hurts already. Not the worst? Yeah, I didn't think it was that bad. The uh, canoe felt really balanced for some reason. Yeah? Yeah. Great. Hitchhiker. There's some blondie following me. I think she's uh, stalking me. Hi. Oh, hi. You just keep on filming, I'm just gonna keep on paddling. <laughs> I'm so fast, look out. I think we're headed into Maple here. We're gonna cross the lake. That was just a little... What? Oh, shut up! Oh, yeah. I'm having a chat, okay? Oh, I think I got some dank on my film there. The screen. Anyway. Feeling pretty good. I got a whole day off. And uh, slept a little better. Last night than the first night. And mostly canoeing today. Not a lot of portages. I'm gonna catch up to this little girl and beat her. I just think she's fast. But she ain't fast as me. Got a little bump on that one. Yeah, it's cool. On the last one, I was um, taking it in, taking it out, taking it in, taking it in. I know, in. yeah. And I didn't want to carry it full of water, so I would always empty it. So yeah. I only have this much. And uh, I think I'm just going to keep it in my pocket from now on when I'm on like a decent trip. Oh! Oh! I lost you. Oh, that was close. All right, we're all hydrated. Got our bottles filled up, ready to go. I'm going to double check this. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Say that again. I think you're right. <laughs> That's what I said. Right. Well, let's go because the wind is. We're gonna be fighting the wind on this guy. Okay. Oh. I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> don't don't sink me. <laughs> <laughs> No! Ah, <laughs> oh, I should have put my seat pot up. Oh, that was rude. Into the headwind, awesome. And I'm gassed already. <laughs> Yeah, this is nice. We just crossed Maple, and uh, it was pretty pretty windy, pretty good headwind. It is one o'clock exactly. We left at eleven fifty. I think it was eleven fifty. Yeah. And I think it's supposed to take us from where we were an hour and a twenty-five minutes to the middle of that lake. Yeah, so we're, I'd say we're probably 20 minutes ahead of their projected time. All right, we're at our next portage. This is 
this guy's second canoe trip in like 15 years. <laughs> More? Almost 20 years? 23 years? Wow. Yeah, And he's just like beast moding all the time. Pretty impressive. Oh, nice. Yeah. Not bad, eh? Not bad. The next portage is a 800 meters into Maple Creek. This is a cool spot. It is really cool. I like how it's so easy to get out of here. This would be a great place for, to like have lunch or something. Have a snack, maybe? Pretty little creek. Oh, it's pretty. So we just run it. <laughs> nice trick there, love. Skill level 3000. <laughs> you are watching a master at work. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, though. I'm like amateur. <laughs> <sighs> what a pretty place. Love. <laughs> Those are some hills. Oh yeah. Oh. It's not the hills, it's the shoulders. Okay. Oh my gosh. See the massive white pine over there? It's huge. The I trunk. didn't see anything. I saw the ground and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually got caught looking or looking around too much and not realizing where my feet are going. <laughs> but I did it. You did it. I did the whole portage. Well. No stopping. I'm a bad influence on you, love. Terrible. Some serious downward elevation on that one. Yeah. I think. It's harder going down. <laughs> the canoe bumps at the back and throws sketchy. off here. Yeah. And it was like. Oh, yeah. It was pretty freaking steep. When you stopped for a bit, I was like, Ooh. he probably totally doesn't realize he, I'm behind him. No, I you actually. stopped to turn on the GoPro. I stopped turning the GoPro. Then when I got down to the bottom of the hill, I turned around just like enough that I could turn the canoe without hitting a tree. And I didn't see anybody. I'm like, okay, well, I'll go back. I thought I heard. I also went, woohoo! Yeah. I thought I heard a canoe bump, and I'm like, but that wasn't mine. Okay. So we're, we're close. I don't know. How the GoPro just stopped for a second. We don't know if that worked. Um, we're so we're in, we're in Maple Creek. Brandon says we're about two to two and a half hours away from just get, getting out of the park today. Um, we both feel really good. We don't want to stop. And the next, there's only one site between here and Kiosk. Um, so basically we have to make a decision and... I don't know, a creek a creek site like doesn't entice me. Woo, did you see that? <laughs> yeah! Ooh, that's fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> cool. It is cool. It's freaky, eh? Nicely done. Not quite enough speed. 
Well, we did the 910. We are at Kiosk Lake now. And uh, we're gonna paddle back to the truck. We, uh, we killed it. I didn't have to stop once. I was actually running on that trail to try to catch no. up with Brandon. You, you must have been flying because I felt like I was flying. I was running. <laughs> and I got here, what, two, couple, like, not even a minute after you. Yeah. Um, and I started later than him and I got stuck behind two people. This portage is really busy. I just ran them over and just pushed them into the bush. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was polite the first time, the second time I just waited, but I think I would have been here at the same time as Brandon if, if I hadn't been held up a little bit, which is kind of cool. That's a good feat for me. Um, it's amazing what anger over a GoPro battery or a SD card error can do for you. Uh, anyways, gonna jump back in the canoe and uh, make the paddle back. It's gonna be a bit of a paddle, so it should be fun. Yeah, it's basically there's a bunch of sites around the corner uh, once we get out of this. And we basically go to the right and then cross in the middle. Mind if I have a look? You did great there, love. I just, I felt kind of It was rough. an easy portage. It was, very, it was very flat. Yeah. I was literally running. I was like... <sighs> Alright, well, I'll see you at the truck in an hour. You'll probably leave me in your dust again. We had to take refuge. I had to take refuge for a few seconds. I'm all of a sudden just starving. That was insane. When the gusts picked up, it's so hard to paddle in that wind, especially in a boat that's like not really weighed down much. Take a break, have a Snickers. Oh yeah, that'll stop me from being grumpy. And morale's really low after the stupid GoPro thing and now the gusts of wind, so I'm trying to like have a good attitude, but it's very difficult right now. <laughs> oh, shot of vodka. We got this much left. No. Ooh, I could make a tang. I'd take a shot of that Bailey's though. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit of tang left. You're doing great though. Yeah, it's fun. Feel good. Also feel slightly hungry. Yeah. It's probably good. We got a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think so. We got across. That's gonna be brutal. Right in the middle of the lake, the longest part, and there's I... no refuge to take. No. I need a sweater right now. Really? Look at, I got goosebumps. Yeah. See the goosebumps? Goosebumps. Okay, I fueled up and I feel much better. Oh, I gotta put a new battery in this before we go. I wanna get the struggle because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a struggle. I'll tell you that. Oh my god. Mm. Thank you love. Keep them out. Shout out to my love who's kept the morale high. <laughs> Cheered me up when I was down. Oh, dude, I can't 
down, look. It did it. <laughs> Can you like <laughs> not park and take up the whole place? I said winter gets to the trucker, so um, yeah, I, I'm yeah, I'm blocking my Hey! <laughs> oh! I didn't know it was that. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> Stuff. Last portage is to the truck. I'm the one with the truck keys. <laughs> Five fifty-six. Five fifty-six. We loaded back up. Key. Yeah. Okay. Guys, we did. here we had a tailwind. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Killed it guys. Probably would have been better off if you left the dead weight back there. But... Who's gonna drive the truck? <laughs> Woo! We did it. That was fun. That was really fun. It was really fun. We both really enjoyed ourselves. It was a fantastic trip. Perfect amount of like pain and adversity and struggle. And accomplishment. And accomplishment and satisfaction yeah. and just like we both feel just <laughs> so again thank you guys so much for watching please share this video um, if you will we, we put a lot of heart into this one that's all I have to say guys thank you so much <laughs>